Would love to play first. Opener looks pretty good. We're going to keep. Got a lot of discard, a little bit of removal. We need the third lane for the Sorn. Let's hope we get there. Can't hear your answer. Are you on ad? Yeah, sorry. One way to fix that. Uh, we'll take the thought seas. So this is blue black phoenix. This is <laughs> this is a matchup where neither six drop is that good. I haven't seen Tain and Indulgence in these decks. We'll take the Indulgence and then when they play Shredder, we'll just pop it with the push and then we'll untap and hopefully Sorn Ripper. All right, so they drew the Watery Grave, so we know about it. Len. Len, 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 Yes! Yes! How does anyone ever beat discard, discard, fatal push, vein ripper, man? Impossible. It's so strong. It's like playing show and tell. We did the thing! Under city sewers. That's also not in their hand. Okay, so their hand is just four lands, and they bench the Shredder. So we'll plus. Get a bunch. All right, Tainan Indulgence, Ledger Shredder. This season, you'd believe it's Blue Black Phoenix. So I think we will bring in the Ley Lines. I mean, we're definitely going to bring in the Ley... Or, sorry, I, I think they're Phoenix, so we're definitely bringing in Ley Line. The Fatal Pushes, like, they have Ledger Shredder only. Edict Bitter Triumph can probably go... I think Archfiend against the Black version, right? All the removal can kill it, so we can cut it. I don't mind another duress in this matchup. The blue red one versus the blue black one is much different. Their threats are way worse. No crackling drake. I don't think we need the cage. I think light lines probably enough. Could be reenact the crime. It could. It could be a couple different things. Monored, to answer your question, uh, I really like the mana where it's at right now. I'm experimenting with one Sulphur Springs uh, becoming the fourth pathway. And every time I draw a Sulphur Springs, I'm going to think, should this be a pathway? And if the answer is yes, the majority of the time, I think I'm just going to switch them. If it's ever no, 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 that's different. All right, the sand is pretty good, I guess. They mulligan to six. They mulligan to five. I'm going to put in both ley lines. We could always discard one, but if they have a bouncer or whatever effect, I'd rather have two. We both mold to five. You think Rakdos Charm would be good for the sideboard if the area is filled with Convoke? Uh, you don't really beat Convoke that way. I would just load up on sweepers, like go up to like four path apparel. I don't think that your deck is that bad against them for whatever that's worth. Play Hive. Yeah, I don't... Rakdos Charm is just not strong enough. People had it against, like, Splinter Twin sometimes, and I could occasionally find ways to play around it, especially with just, like, Pestermite dealing two damage. 
Nazis. Okay, so they're going to take Preacher. And now we need to draw any of our other powerful threes. Any of our powerful threes would be cool. All right, we're going to play around Spell Pierce, actually, because they played this on one and didn't do anything. I know that sounds weird, but I don't really know what they're playing, and I just kind of have a feeling they have Spell Pierce. Herbark Scavengers. All right. So we got, I guess we figured out what they're doing. So whenever it enters a battlefield or attacks, you can exile a card from a graveyard, put a counter on it. And then it has flying or other abilities based on what it's exiled. All right. So we can't kill the Herbark Scavengers. Thought sees you now. No one left behind. Weird. Guess I'll take Tainted. The other one's kind of locked out right now. We need uh, any way to get revolts. Consider, let's see what they put in the grave. We just want more information about what's in their deck. Cool card alert? Oh yeah, Urborg Scavengers. This was from Aftermath, right? Aftermath is awesome. Alright, they put Risen Reef, or Restless Reef rather, in the grave. So it gets the counter no matter what it is, that's cool. All right, so we know their last card is the Reanimate spell, which is basically dead. And we're hoping we just draw anything that can turn on Revolt. That'll do. All right, we're going to play around counter spells, things like that. Discard this. Tain Indulgence, good draw. Let's them turn the no one left behind into a real spell. So they don't have that anymore. So they have Hall and Arando. All right, we'll play the Black Leaf so that we can activate Hive next turn, but I'm gonna go for a Takanuma this turn, I think. Especially if they kill this. We're still a little bit away from the Hall coming in. This is gonna be tap probably. All right, let's just hope we get a little lucky with this, because we just got to use our mana, I think. Whiff, big whiff. I'll definitely trade Preacher for Hall if it comes in. Although we'll be uh, less life, and we'll have a blocker. So actually, maybe we don't. That way we get the 1-1 one -one blocker. Interesting. <laughs> Sewer coming in taps, as sewers do. All right, so we'll send in with everyone. If they kill any of my stuff, that's okay. We can prepare for the hall later. They have to spend so many resources to attack with it. Uh, let's see, turn off auto yield. Another ley line. All right, so now if they attack with hall, they're dead. And if they block with Hall, they're dead. We have a card to discard already, so I'm going to play the Black Leave in case I draw the big vampire and need to play it. Another Sewer. All right, well, if they animate Hall and block, they can't play anything except a one-cost blue bounce effect. So I don't think that they have an out. I feel bad for... 
for how bad they drew. Uh, pretty decent hands. We get to see just how good the shoulder edict is this game, hopefully. Bones on five. One good thing about discard decks, you don't mind being on the draw too much. Your opponent mulligans, it hurts them extra. You have more potential hits. More ways to slow them down. Phoenix again, but we're back to Archfiend. We have the Edict, so I think I'll lead with Duress. I don't really want to take a creature. Shredder Prankster, okay. Next turn, if they don't play the Shredder, I'll probably just Thought Seize them and then see if they play Free the Fae or not. All right, let's go. Each opponent sacks a non-token. So now it's going to be Steam Vents, Free the Fae, probably. Oh, Pathway? Weird. They can't even play Cruise if they find it. So now whatever they take is just dead. My so they milled Axe. They chose pick lock. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just go for Soren. And hope that they don't draw axe. Ripa. We'll do everything we can to keep creatures off the table from them. Read the face. So they're going to get cruise. Then we get to thought seeds, play harvester, tick up, attack, gain a bunch. All right, we know they have steam vents and four. Even if I draw the land for Archfiend, I might still play Harvester Thoughtseize just to keep an axe from their hand. Oh, uh, now that's Thoughtseize. We'll go counter here. Attack for a bunch. Leave him with the Shredder. Then go Shredder, pick lock, have some blockers, but that's just like not a big deal. And they already have pick lock, so taking the Shredder doesn't stop an axe from uh, getting this. And also now that it's a six, this doesn't really matter. We'll go attack with the Ripper, they'll chump block. We can throw Soren at something else. Although I guess we can maybe throw Soren. Harvester at the pick lock to force a shredder block. I think that's actually pretty good. I don't think that they can get out of this too easily. Shock plus axe, still not good enough because this is six. I'm just afraid of this dying, but I guess it's just not happening. All right, so we'll go plus. Attack Harvester, deal three here. And I want to hold all these, I think. So let's just go attack, force a chump. They go to five. And we'll go Thought Seize You. I have Odawara, okay. And now if I get to untap the Soren Kills this, so. Nice, nice. All right, ley line. We're going to board out the duress. We're going to board out. I'm going to try boarding out Harvester. I think that's a cool idea. Something I never really considered before. 
Maybe we bring in the cage. We just have more things to stop Phoenix specifically. That seems kind of weak. So maybe it's just Leyline for Harvester. All the threes are solid. Dust Legion, the removal's okay. I guess I just can't board out all of my removal. So maybe I leave in the Wonder S. I don't like the cage very much. So let's just do, let's try Harvester siding out and leave in the dress. And do we want another dress? Probably not. All right. Boom. Chat, how you doing today? It's Tuesday, right? Anything cool happening? Got any locals this evening? I'm ready for Pioneer RCQ season. Starts in a couple weeks. The um, team event at... Uh, well, one of our sponsors is having a team tournament. And I'll be there doing commentary. It's uh, Apex Gaming. Come out to Caldwell, Ohio on... Uh, April 13th weekend with a couple friends. Play some fun magic. All right, we'll go Hive Hive. This is Sulphur Springs that I wish was a pathway. This is two for two. Two for two since I've been paying attention. Building vamps for RCQ season. I think that's a good idea. I believe vampires will be legal for the entirety of RCQ season. All right, so they're going to go for pick lock. That's fine. We didn't have push anyway. All right, so they find consider opt. They consider. I think you're on Dodge Blue Eye with Amalia. I mean, I don't even think it's that bad of a matchup, if I'm being honest. I don't think it's a good matchup. I think Amalia might be the best deck, but it's just kind of annoying. And I don't know. It doesn't have like a super high win percentage against the field because it's just a collection of one mana one ones or whatever, two mana one threes. But the deck is very strong. Hmm. I'm gonna play Fable to use my mana. We can kill Ledger Shredder next turn. I gotta get rid of these Blood Crypts in my hand. They're just rotting up the place. Yeah, I I think that Amalia might have the best matchup spread, and Blue Eye Control is not that popular because Cavernous Souls. And because Blue Eye Control is just kind of a mad deck most of the time. I do like No More Lies. Free the Fae. They found Lightning Axe, Slide of Hand Opts. They can Treasure Cruise here, though. They choose Slide of Hand. Okay. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say, Chippy. I know a lot of good blue eye players. I mean, I I don't know. I it's the deck that I feel the most comfortable with, but I think Amalia might be the best deck, and I'm definitely not comfortable with Amalia, personally. Alright, so no Phoenix coming back, so we're just in great shape. They have seven cards in hand, but we have a bunch as well. I'm going to discard two Blood Crypts. I'm going to play Leyline. It's not that good anymore, but it's fine. Makes it so Phoenix can't just, like, cheat into play anymore.
Molly has room for innovation? That's possible. Probable. Petty theft on the goblin. Okay. Cash, but the credit's no good. We'll go put a counter on the Dust Legion. I'll hold back. I don't want to trade it for the Elementals. I want to keep Soren high. And I want to have something to copy with Reflection. If they kill this Zealot, we can go Animate Muta Vault, copy it, animate the other Muta Vault, put a counter. Yeah, I thought about saving the push for this. We might die to this now. Interesting game, though. We really need one of our big threats. Wonder if they'll kill this now. <sighs> it's kind of tough. Let's try. All right, we'll animate this, put a counter on it, and attack for three. As Death Touch, Crack on Drake, probably not going to be lethal next turn, so probably going to kill my Soren. Maybe they'll chump block with the elemental here. Maybe they'll just take three. Copy throw both vamps. Yeah, maybe. It's just not going to work. We can maybe do it now. Uh, not anymore. Okay. Sworn down. Only four cards in hand. They can play a couple of pick locks as blockers. Those are going to be a little annoying. We have already drawn two Fatal Push. My Edict doesn't... I guess Edict still kills the Crackling Drake. Got one main, one board. Maybe we should have held on to the land last turn. So they held back Hall the Storm Giants. I'm going to discard at least one. Maybe it's like... Maybe they're just planning on casting the Brazen Bar? Wow. I just want to attack with everybody. 
If I if I target the Ripper, and they have Axe, see if they have it. They have to sack a bunch. So they have the Bounce. That's fine. Bounce is not lethal. They sack a token. I thought about waiting. If we draw a land next turn, we can do it. I guess we don't even need to because we get this treasure. The Soren is not long for this world. They're not close to lethaling me. And we can go Ripper activate next turn. Let's see if they have the answer. Three matchup, three Phoenix. Last round wasn't a Phoenix. It was uh, Urborg Scavengers. I don't know. Maybe it was Phoenix. I never saw a Phoenix. They went to three. So they can 17-21 me. So we're not dead. Free the Fey means I can't activate Hall. So I think they took Cruise so they can Cruise for three. But we'll have them in a pinch. Let's see what they do. I guess I could just kill Reflection. If they're not careful, they might just die to Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Do we need to play the Ripper? I mean, maybe not. The, the Soren's going to die, though. All they have to do is send one thing at the Soren. They'll probably send Borrower since it's just a flying blocker. They're just playing Picklock. Okay. So they're dead to Ripper copy. They're just tapping out for no reason. Four, five, six. Whoa, whoa. All right, I don't know, guys. I guess this is a frustration slash concession. They just know that I have the Vein Ripper. Could have even uh, made a reflection as well, had it die end of turn. All right, we will keep and hope that we draw the land. The Zealot helps. Being on the play is pretty good. We have two Sorns, so they can't take both. Well, probably can't take both. Vantage, Gigantha. Uh-oh, we might be in trouble, chat. Let's see if our... Hopefully we draw the lands. All right, I feel a lot better. Rakdos. Oh, I wonder what the Black Splash is for. Definitely going to take this. Thought about Ashok over the Damping Spheres? Uh, I've thought about it in addition to... I, I don't think I'll ever cut the two Damping Spheres. It's already won me like two or three games... All right, this is a weird play. But I think that this is correct. 
And then next turn, if, if they kill this, great. I'll just go Soren Vein Ripper next turn. And if they don't kill this or deal damage to it, I can just put the Vein Ripper in next turn. <clears throat> Jake, you talk about Goblin Dark Dwellers? What are we talking about? Claim on this. Uh oh. Claim, claim to fame on Illuminate Virtuoso is quite cool. So we can kill this again. Unless they have a land here. Man, I think I'm just getting clowned no matter what I do. This matchup feels not great. Oh, they have the land? Bummer. I hope I draw Fatal Push. If I draw Fatal Push, I feel like I can win. Oh, they left this... Hmm... Hmm. Hopefully they can't deal me 18. Just hope they can't deal me 18. Vein Ripper! That's right. Oh, Call the Death Dweller. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, Claim to Fame is the thing they've been playing lately. I'm not sure that I like it in theory, but it certainly looks great here. So I may have to reevaluate. I think. I'm not I really don't know what they're going to do. If if they just go like uh fame on virtuoso, that's 10 to 12 just on its own. But it doesn't trample. Switch, thanks for the raid. Who's streaming today? Dykeman, you feeling better, buddy? Oh, I'm glad to hear it, man. Oh, I, uh, I reached out to one of the people who works at Swish, and I'm trying to get y'all hooked up with Apex to sponsor the uh, Apex series. Let me know if that's something that you or your partners would be interested in, and uh, reach out to them if you want your banner on the stream. Uh, our next event's March 13th, but we got a, basically one event every uh, four to five days until the end of the year, something like that. Our opponent in the tank looking for a way to kill. But with the Virtuoso's ability, I don't know, man. Heck yeah. Be good to see you. Hopefully come squash the noobs. I don't know. I don't know, Heish, but a bunch of people have been doing it, and it looks okay. It looks really good here. I mean, we killed our Illuminator, and they got it back for one. And we're pretty much clown because of it. Actual factual dedge. Claim to Fame is also historically good with Dreadhorde Arcanists, but I haven't seen too many Dreadhorde Arcanists out of the deck lately, so I don't know. All right, Fame. Let's see what they discard. Get an old eye uh, him. Discard another virtuoso. This guy haste. I have to block. The question is do I chump or do I try to trade with the Swiss spear? Do they even let me? Do they have a land? A lot of questions. I think the only way I win is if their hand is two creatures, two lands. And even then I might lose. Let's 
see where they attack. Ho oh, ho ho. If they're only attacking with the Illuminator, I think I'm in business. We might have a shot, chat. As long as they don't give a trample. All right, we'll take. Let's put some to 11. Hmm. What are the odds they have something to protect the Swiss Spear? What if we just gain seven, have two blockers? Gain seven, have two blockers doesn't sound that bad. I think if they had Monstrous Rage, they would have killed us last turn. So... I think this is better than going after the Swiss Spear. And I th think I just hold up. And I also have the back door of finding Fatal Push if I want to pop this blood token. But having this means I am not dead to God's willing. Is creativity a good thing in Pioneer right now? I've played Arena and I'm like 12 2 with Deduce Creativity and Explorer. Well, I don't think that the people who play Arena are very strong competitors. In general, I think they're weaker than your Magic Online players. But I think both are probably better than your average IRL player at, uh, at like your locals. It's all just a uh, guessing game or whatever, though. But um, are you playing full matches? Are you playing best of one? You know, that matters as well. Twelve two and best of three. That's a great record. I mean, I know um, Islands in front. F Scura. I don't know his full name. IRL. He's been tagging me on Twitter a bunch, playing my deduce creativity deck. He added like three spell pierces to the main or something, and I, I'm pretty confident he was playing best of one. But he just like eats everyone up with creativity. It's less good in Pioneer specifically compared to Explorer. I don't remember why. I think one of the decks is missing a big thing. But maybe that's not true anymore. Treasure Cruise is here now. Smuggler's Copter is here now. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, honestly. Alright, so they're giving it protection. So they can't give it trample. I'm going to crack this, and if I draw Fatal Push, I'm going to cast it. No, cancel, 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 cancel. Because I can still block it, but they're going to give it protection from black. And if they find the trample thing, I'm dead. See, if I crack, if I crack this and find push, I die to God's willing or indestructible. I think I just let it happen. I don't think it matters. Hidden Strings, yes. Lotus Field, Hidden Strings. I don't think that Lotus Field is a particularly bad matchup, though. All right, let's hope they didn't find the Trample. They have Matra Rage is the only th instant speed thing, I think, here. I guess we can get hit with a Reckless Rage, also. Ah, uh, this has Summoning Sickness. I didn't think about that. All right, we're going to crack a blood token just to see. See if I would have hit. I wouldn't have. All right. So close. I want Path the Perils, Edicts, Dresses. I like cutting the cheese. We just go low to the ground. 
Uh, okay. Play first. I don't want to choose to draw. But I don't want them to get out in front of me. Keep. This is maybe three for three. This is a pathways fine. Do a thoughts easy. We just like take their only creature. Okay. Could take Sajiri Shelter, I suppose. Just always lean, take the the threat. Their deck just doesn't function that well. We do have the answer for the showdown. Did your Defiant Strike Blood Crypt? Nice. All right, we didn't draw the land, but we do have at least one discard spell here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and Thought Seize. And I'm going to take Define Strike so they can't cycle it next turn. By Jegman. All right, land here for Preacher would be nice. Zealot. Attack for one. This is the first time I've been stuck on two in a while. I Although I have plenty of games where I'm afraid of getting stuck. All right, we'll get Preacher down. That way Preacher can uh, start making some blockers. Like shocked with Godless Shrine. Okay, so they're just playing the big man, the Jeggy. Jeggy's pretty scary. I might just die here. Two things that give trample, very cool. I'm just gonna die to Gigantha plus trample because I dealt myself too much damage. It's funny. Alright, so they get to go for Homestead Courage, Ancestral Anger, and we have to figure out. I mean, I think I'm just dead. This sucks. It's a huge bummer. If I had drawn my third land earlier, we would have been in good shape, but I don't know. Maybe I should have saved the Thoughtseize for the Gigantha. Let him keep the thing from last turn. Ooh. This pure scary. Alright, Anger on that's fine. Now they can encourage this twice. We have to put one in front of the Swiss beer and the rest in front of Gigantha, something like that. I guess they can target one each with the Homestead Courage, so they have max blockers next turn. But nothing has Trample next turn. All right, we're going to block Swiss Beer with a bunch to kill it. That way, if we draw any of our Edicts, we can get rid of the Gigantha. We're going to put one here. We're going to go to two. Now they're, they have one card left. It's a Hoplite.
So we can attack no matter what. Get a 1-1 one, one lifelinker. I wonder if I should blood. Maybe just playing Fable is better. Let's just play Fable and say go. That way we can threaten to trade with Gigantha. They might not. If they, I'm hoping they just draw a land. If they just draw a land or a creature. Land or a creature and we're okay. If they attack with both. Ne attack with neither. That's good news. All right, let's discard a Fable and a land. Let's draw a card. I'm going to kill the favorite hoplite. I'm going to attack with the preacher. Because I get the blocker back. And then if the Gigantha attacks and doesn't trample, we can come back with the bigger attack. That did any trample thing. Did not draw an edict. Let's go for Pitch Blood on Path of Peril since we have a lot of little things. Play Harvester. I'm gonna attack with just Preacher. And again, we're just dead to any Trampler. So if they don't drop. Next turn, we might be able to get in Lethal. Homestead Courage. Okay, we'll chump. All right, if we send with everybody, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Blocks us, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and we have two blockers, so let's just swing. If they have something that gains life or kills a creature, that's fine. We have the 1-1 one, one back to block, and we have Fable, so we're basically in the same spot we were. They block here, kill this, take 2, 4, 5, 6 down to 2, or they're dead. We go to game 3. This is a weird game. Still not over yet, necessarily. So they did have Reckless Rage, and they didn't kill this earlier. Alright, let's discard Blood. Alright, cross fingers. Cross fingers. Tough one. All right, so I think we're still fine like this. I can maybe cut a land. I think I'm going to cut a cavern on the draw, and I think I'm going to bring in one Soren because we can do the plus thing pretty decently. This is like the only matchup where I do this cyborg plan where I just board out Soren and Bane Ripper. But, I mean, if you watch game one, you understand why, right? They were able to essentially dodge my uh, turn three thing with turn two Illuminator just kills me, right? My hand is quite good. Let's take the creature. We know they have showdown. I accidentally exited it. Uh, let's get aggressive. 
We also have Liliana the Veil to protect from uh, God's Willing. They can Define Strike this, but I think that's fine. Part of me wanted to not. Uh, maybe I should just like Showdown. I might just lose. All right, we'll go Edict to you. That's, I guess they're just burning this to guarantee a land drop. Because this doesn't protect them. And they're not dumb. They played very well so far. So they're just scrying. They put one on top. I wonder if it's a tapped land. Swiss Spear? Okay. So we know they have Showdown and two randoms. This was likely the top card. Rage, that's fine. So this is going to die, probably. But we have Edict Dust Legion, and they don't have the land yet. Oh, they do have the land. They just didn't play it yet. So they are they going to Homestead Courage? That means they're probably going face. Interesting. They didn't go face. I will... I, man. I really want to draw something to stop the showdown. So I'm going to blood. Perfect. I don't really care that much about the Swiss beer. And if I draw push, I can push this and then kill Gigantha. Archie's pretty good as well. Very large. By Gigantha, makes sense. Fifth land, okay. Definitely going to take it. We'll play Archfiend, and then Archfiend versus Gigantha should be a nothing. We should be good now. They can't really attack with the Swiss Spear either. Confluence, last car. All right, we didn't draw it, but this is a pretty easy attack for six. And then they're dead to Edict. I don't think that Gigantha can physically kill me, so let's just go each opponent sacks a non-token. They'll sack the Swifty. We'll play Fable. And I, I really don't think... I guess Claim to Fame on Virtuoso is still not lethal because they have no cards in hand. They should have held the land. Then they could have maybe chained it off. Showdown. Showdown's terrifying, but I think it's too late. All right, they're dead. GG. Nice. Keep. I'm going to put back one of the discards. I'm going to put back the weaker one, I think. <clears throat> Dress just misses sometimes. Need to land. Otherwise, we're doing pretty good. Blue white. Okay. I'm just going to take the Emperor. Just take away their ability to defend. Could make an argument to take uh, Shark Typhoon, though. All 
I really hope I draw land so I can get this preacher into play. Wish I put back a Vein Ripper, but every time I do that, I draw a Soren. See if they no more lies me. You're gonna cycle Shark Typhoon in response. That's fine. The one one's not that big a deal. Couple counter spells, Moonlight, Deluge. Let's just take Deluge. Main deck Hallowed Moonlight has been awkward. We'll definitely attack, and then if we draw a land, we'll play Preacher. My thoughts is force some diesel in their counter spells or just let it happen. They might cycle Hallowed. I'll be pretty happy if they do. Uh, we'll take Teferi. Interesting. I feel like they should have just let it happen or countered it. All right. Land. Oh, they drew another Teferi in the meanwhile. Yeah, you win. I just concede. I just can't win the game from here, and I'm just not going to play for 15 minutes trying to. Duresses, Edict's okay. Lily's good. And then we'll cut the four fatal push. I think the one Archfiend can come out, maybe. It is just a huge threat, though. Uh, maybe I just don't even want the extra edict. We'll just leave in one better one edict. I've also been considering a 26th land. This is like the first time I've been mana screwed, though. I've been color screwed a few times. We reduced the cavern and muta vault count to help. I've been pretty happy with where the mana base is. But this is twice in one league where I've gotten stuck on two. And that hasn't happened too often. Get on the play. Keep this one. In case we draw a, another land like a Blackleaf Cliffs, I'm going to play Cliffs over Blood Crypt on one. All right, I'm going to attack for three next turn, and then if they don't kill my thing, I'm just going to go Cavern Vampire Harvester. Just to put some pressure on them. Maybe I should board a third Cavern. I don't think that's a bad idea. Temporary lockdown would be awkward. All right, we'll go ahead and pitch one of these extra lands. Attack for six.
Play Fable, see if they counter. I'm sure they will. We just have so many things to play. Which is good. It's good to have too much to do. So if they don't have Verdict on 4 here. Alright, Wandering Emperor could also be what they have. We'll hold on to the blood for when our hand is truly horrific. Alright, we'll just plan to throw the blood token EOT. Throw the swamp away. Let's hope they don't have verdict. Or sunfall. Here's Deluge. It's like too hard to play around Wandering Emperor and Verdict. Sometimes we just have to pick one. Here come the sweeper. All right, we'll definitely throw a Swamp away. I could have activated a Meatball and thrown it at the face. But then if they have an answer to the Soren, I don't have a way to threaten lethal. I could have played Preacher Soren throwing Preacher at face, and then... I don't know. My Soren pluses are just good, but... Vulnerable? Interesting. I guess I'll move to attacks. If they let me attack, I'm pretty happy. I don't really want to send Mutawald into the incubator. So I get a free card. Even if they have Wandering Emperor, they go to seven. And then we can just post combat, put a counter on the Mutawald, play Fable. Veto here is pretty tough. Maybe I should have just sent the Muta Vault as well with a counter on it, because that would have forced them to Incubator as well. Totem, uh, Phyrexian becomes a creature. They can put a counter on it with Emperor and send a 4 4 first strike at Soren. I think I just let it happen. They don't gain life or anything. It doesn't gain Vigilance, right? It makes Vigilance creatures and then it gives first strike. That's messed me up before. It's Teferi. Okay. Uh, all right. I hit enchantments only. All right, so we'll go each opponent sacks a uh, token.
What's the difference? They could have March. All right, let's attack and threaten lethal, I guess. And hope they don't have March. So, Spunky. We lose the March if we do this, but... It's just trading March for Muta Vault, but... Nice. Game three. Unless they have Surge or something. Ooh, scary. It's the pioneer guy? No, vampire's guy. Vampire's guy, Spunky. Uh... I think we got them all. Thought you were the pioneer guy? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're right. Five? I think I just want my lands over the edicts. Edicts like a super late game thing. Put a card on top. I think I'm a thought sees now. Might be a land on top and a bunch of nonsense. I don't think I can win. What can I beat? I'm gonna take Hallowed because it keeps it like stops a lot of my stuff and cycles, whereas everything else is just kind of trading one for one. That's a good draw. Another land, but, you know. Get lost. Okay. They kept get lost on top of their deck. It's pretty interesting. Another land. We do eventually have Vein Ripper, but I think we'll be way dead by then because of the deluges. No lands. Game. Game over. All right, we'll play Harvester. Pretty decent draw. On map top cards of duress. I think graveyard's better. Better triumph. I'm gonna keep it. That way we just have Teferi protection. All right, there's Deluge. That way we have Harvester can go at the Teferi or the Bitter Triumph can go after Teferi. We also can just pop it to Blood Token if we want to. No reason really to use Hive here. The second Deluge is tough. Probably would have taken one of the two Deluges if they only had the one, but it's like hard to get full value out of both of them. But when there's two of them, the Thought Seize is dampened. All right, well, I'm going to send in with Hive and the Blood, or Blood Tithe. We'll get the Swamp off of the Field Rune if they have it. And if they don't play anything EOT for the bitter,
We'll probably just pitch it to the blood looking for the land. So we can just play Vein Ripper with Cavern. Gabish, thanks for the follow. All right, I'm going to attack. Yeah, whatever. I can't beat a sweeper anyway. Get some. Get some. Veto in hand. Get some. Dahlia's whiff one time, dealer. God dang it. Whiff one time, Dahlia's. I know they already have it. It's like super frustrating. <laughs> oh, they didn't tap super fast, chat. They did not tap super fast. Ah, they're slow rollers. Ah, farewell, the classic. The one that everyone loves. Farewell. How about another Vein Ripper chat? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Valkyrie. This thing's huge. We know they have Veto in hand. It's a lot of Vein Rippers in a row, chat. I'm pretty stoked about potentially winning the game. The Bru the Boonbringer Valkyrie has not felt that good against me in general, but it looks pretty good here. Narset partner, so we can't draw any extra cards. Let's see what they find. I don't think I'm beating much. A Teferi, okay. They can play Teferi and then hold up. Counterspell of some kind. I guess I can send both Vein Rippers at the Teferi. They back up for, or they first strike one. So we trade a Vein Ripper for Teferi. Play Fable, see if they want to veto it. Absorb. Yeah, now they have veto. I really don't think I can win the game, chat. But the way I do win the game starts with this Teferi dying, I think. We send both the face. It's just like not accomplishing anything. Been a pretty good battle. Just don't think I'm coming out of it on top. We did mold a five. Tough to mold a five in a game three. Field Ruin here can actually cut me off a red. Vito's locking down my next play. Verdict. Verdict means that I'm probably never getting anything. They can actually just get aggressive here too if they want. Go Hall, Boonbringer, Smash. I think that's fine. And they still have Vito up. I don't have any lands left to get either, but I do have another cavern. They didn't take me off a of red. If they animate hall, they can't hold up veto.
They really should be attacking. It's very strange. I will say go. Because we know they have the veto. We don't want to... We want to try to catch them in a spot where they're animating Hall. Or we can go EOT, Edict, Untap, Draw something to maybe squeak in. All right, we're going to go for Shoulder Edict. They're probably going to veto. But then if we can find a way to kill the Boonbringer next turn, Liliana the Veil would be really nice. Hmm. All right, this is also fine if they want to tap the Hall. They're trying to hold up double veto, and they are going to hold up double veto, but this gives me more time. I really wish I could just concede games that I felt like I was a low percentage to win. Like, I, f I feel like I'm just going to waste 10 minutes of my life here. But, like, we might, we might get really lucky, chat. We might. We might get really lucky. Ugh. All right, we'll save it. Save it for when I draw something I can maybe try to force through. Another Narset. They're just squeezing me more, squeezing me more. You find Hallowed Moonlight. That one stops the front end of Fable, I suppose. I feel like the game should be over six turns ago. Michael Moonlight's fine. I feel, I don't know why they're not just attacking with the Boonbringer. All right, they finally found the Wandering Emperor, so now we absolutely can't win. Make this one counterable just so I get a free draw in case they have Absorb or something. Just get out of here. Shipwrecked Marsh. They are a Kahira, so it's like blue black control. We drew the land. Let's start with Thoughtseize. Uh, you can keep all your removal. The Deuce can give them some extra juice, but Dust Legion Zealot makes fun of removal. Sulfur Springs, I would like it to be Blight Set Pathway again. Drew another land. We want to be pathway again, but mostly because it doesn't matter for either. Cycle Shark Typhoon for zero. How do they cast Kahira? So weird. All right, you go. Unfortunately, we have no punishes on three. We drew a bunch of expensive stuff. And even Archfiend of the Dross looks weak.
We will go ahead and play the Archfiend, I suppose. Then go Field of Ruin into Fatal Push. And now we do have Fatal Push up, but unlikely it'll be used anytime soon. We really need to draw Fable so we can get rid of these. No land. All right, let's attack. I need to protect the Dust Legion because right now it's protecting my other creatures from this Sheldred's Edict. I'm going to go ahead and play this other Archfiend, I suppose. Counterspell on it makes sense. All right, didn't have Edicts. Hopefully they don't have Extinction Events or the five drop removal spell with the lands. They didn't have anything. All right, we've drawn four of our six removal spells. Our opponent's draw has not been that great either. Wonder if this is just like double edicts. Yeah. Maybe a single edict? Wow, single edict. Good news for me. All right. Attack. Shark Typhoon also not a viable blocker. We have so much removal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pitch a Fatal Push. Nice. Fifth Lands Watery Grave. So probably going to be the Destroy the Evidence. Or deadly cover up. Okay. And that's fine. Let's see what they go exile. They might exile my thought seizes. Yeah, so they took all my thought seizes. Now they have three cards in hand. I don't know what any of them are. Any land off the top left me Vein Ripper. Cavern would be nice. That way I can guarantee the second one gets uncounterable. All right, shields are down. Let's hope we get a little lucky here. All right, we'll go ahead and duress just to see what they got going on. Uh, two deadly disputes. I got no clue, man. I wonder what they're sacking. Terrarians? Wow. What the heck is going on, man? Mubber thinks to follow. It's wild. They went from having like nothing, and now I don't know if we can win anymore. Well, this was a good draw. They're going to sack Terrarian. They hit two mana, so that if they have... I don't think they can play Disruptive Protocol, so I think that we're okay here. Nice. There's the Ripper. And now if they play some sort of creature that they want to use for the ward, we have removal. So it has to be a sweeper. Nice. They didn't have it. Uh, all right. I'm going to cut all of my removal. I don't really know what's going on over there. I'm just going to cut all six. We're going to go in duress Liliana. And maybe like two light line of the void or maybe the two children's edict just in case they have something. Let's go one better one shield red. I'll just leave in two removal spells because I'm not really sure what's going on over there. Bones in value town. Yeah, I'm curious if they have anything else besides terrarian to sacrifice like early for the deadlies. Deadly dispute. I haven't seen the control deck do like terrarian deadly dispute. But that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means I haven't seen it. It's very weird. 
they probably have some sort of micro combo or it's just a great draw spell with uh all breaker horror or whatever because it ramps into it and i don't know i don't know do i keep this hand my gut says yes I don't know why, but my gut does say yes. Oh, yeah. We could draw a bunch more Blackleaf Cliff type cards, so we'll just play those first. And then we'll play uh, probably Fable first, but maybe we'll play the other one. Oh, right, because of Deduce. But Deadly Dispute Deduce does not feel very good. IMO. All right, so they also tap this, which means... Let's see. Maybe we just go for Soren. I don't think they're going to be able to counter it. I mean, I guess they can, but... Metallic Rebuke. I was thinking it was the other one. Deadly Protocol? Some, some, something Protocol? Disruption Protocol? Disruption Protocol makes a lot of sense with all this stuff. Bonus Act seems pretty cool. All right, let's see if this Fable resolves. I guess we'll Soren again. Do the thing when you can try to do the thing. Force them to have the counter spells or removal spells or whatever. Do a pretty good cam. Vampires winning. I have yet to go worse than 4 1 in a league since I started playing Archfiend. The Archfiend build has been quite strong. All right, here's Deadly Cover-Up. They're going to take all my Vein Rippers. Uh, bummer. We get one in hand. Do we get to draw a card at least? Yeah. So we get to draw a card for the Vein Ripper they took. But that takes away a lot of my pressure. It's oppressive? I would not say that it's oppressive. Definitely a Herald deck? I don't think so. I think they're a... Uh, they just are playing like deduce dispute. I don't. They don't have enough artifacts. Let's go. Thought sees you. Wow, they have the spell pierce. So I think we have to take the spell pierce just so we can resolve our fable this turn. Wow, that's horrible though. Oh, well. And it's just like all removal and a deduce. I guess they have deduce and deadly dispute. They drew shipwreck marsh. All right, we will discard two. So I'll just put a counter on the Blood Tithe. I don't think I can win the game. My opponent's deck kind of did what they were supposed to do and had some nice little counters for me. None of my threats here really matter too much. And they're going to... I guess they can just cover up next turn also.
All right, so now they have cover up, deduce children's edicts. Or randos. They've just drawn a ton. No win con? Uh, they got win cons. Should have put a counter on the harvester, but it's just going to die no matter what I do, I think. I guess I missed the damage. I'm going to force him to use the deadly cover up. That way I can get Preacher down and maybe Preacher does anything. So now what are they going to take? Probably Fables. Fables my other like best card. My draw this game was pretty weak. I'm hoping my game three draws better. I kept a slow hand because I felt like Mulganing would be awkward against their attrition heavy strategy. Do they have a Shieldred's Edict in hand? Interesting. So we can take Shark Typhoon. My Preacher's never getting in. I'll take shark. That's fine. They even have my creature lands covered. I might concede here. I want to see a little more of the deck, but I also have to use the bathroom. This is a... Uh, I would love something like Lily on the Veil here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll say go. I guess they're waiting for Narset, Days Undoing. Gary Sanitarium, scary. All right, I'll be right back. Sounds excellent. Let's hope I draw the land. Their hand is so bad without Turian. Come on, land. All right, let's get the Liliana down before they have Disruption Protocol active. We'll discard Vein Ripper. So they don't draw edicts. 
Oh yeah, it looks really cool, Scooter. I think you'd be super interested in that deck. I'm not sure if they have enough of the enablers, but the Daily Dispute stuff, Deadly Cover-Up, Shark Typhoon all seem pretty solid all together. They drew the land, so now they have Disruption Protocol active. Let's duress, see what they do. Wonder if they go for Disruption Protocol. I think I'm not going to discard. So I'm just going to use my mana next turn. If I draw the land, I can empty and then plus. They did not push on the end step. So we get in some extra damage with this harvester because of it. All right, that's fine. Maybe I just get rid of everything. Just get up to the ability to plus every turn. They have a Swamp in hand. They played Swamp. I guess... What if... I guess I should blood this. If I draw a land, I can play it. Maybe this is horrible. Now we're at six. All right, so now next turn I can get half their lands. If they go land draw, play it. Narset, okay. So let's see what they get off of this. Deadly, that's fine. All right, so now we can just get half their lands and keep our thing. I can't play Kahira. All right, the front meter ball is always the summoning signal one. Put them on two turn clock. And Liliana the Veil does the thing that Liliana the Veil does. Absolutely decimates control decks when it sticks around. Friendly opponent as well. A pleasure. Universe, thank you so much for the games. All right, four and one. Uh, four and one with Rakdos Vampires yet again. Uh, our loss was to uh, Is It Phoenix? Can't be Phoenix, I guess. I don't know. I lost to Is It Phoenix off of in our first match also uh, when I had gone back to playing Shieldred. And the moment my opponent axed my Shieldred, I was like, Archfiend is the truth, man. Archfiend feels good.
Maybe you want a fourth? One second. <clears throat> All right, so here it is. Rakdos Vampires is going to be one of the best five decks. It supplanted Rakdos Midrange. I think that this build is pretty close to the 75 that I would register at a an regional championship tomorrow. I would probably cut one Sulphur Springs for the fourth Blystep Pathway. I would maybe... Cut the Graft Digger's Cage. I kind of want a third Liliana the Veil. Liliana the Veil has been really nice. So maybe it becomes third Lily. And then this Path Apparel becomes maybe like a Kalidus or a Shieldred. So that we have one extra threat to bring in. Because I kind of want one more threat to bring in. All we have really is Lily, but maybe Lily Duress, Lily's threat enough. If we have three Lily, two Duress... You know, we can get most of our removal out, leaving in Bitter Triumph or Shouldered's Edict. I, I'm i still not sure on Shouldered's Edict versus Bitter Triumph. That League, Shouldered's Edict, did not punish me. And they are effectively the same thing if your opponent only has one of any of those things in play. And with uh, Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, playing your removal spells, you know, you really bottleneck your opponent sometimes. I'm I'm feeling like the deck is carrying me, chat. And I want to stress that. There are a lot of decks that I play that are like synergy driven, um, that often are hinging on one card resolving and, and like flexing around that card. And there are other decks that I play, like Winota, for example, where a single card or the deck itself carries you through regardless of how good or bad you play. I don't think that you can play this deck badly and win a bunch, but you can certainly play it medium and win a bunch. And that to me is a sign of a very strong archetype. And the bones of this shell are extremely good. And now we just have to give and take a little bit here and there. And my suggestion, I think at this point is like, leave the creature suite alone. I really like three dust legion to Preacher. I don't feel like I draw Dust Legion too often. I feel like I do draw it when I want it a good amount. I play it over Blood Tithe quite a bit when I'm stuck on two in the early turns, especially when I have a Soren or Soren Vein Ripper combo in hand. And so maybe there's an argument to just play four Dust Legion Zealot and stay at 25 lands. But there's also an argument to go up to 26 lands because most of the time when I'm losing, it's because I get stuck on two. And I rarely flood because I have Blood Tokens and Fable. Third Preacher of the Schism in the sideboard could be something. Third Damping Sphere if you have a lot of Lotus Field in your area. But this is it. This is the deck that I plan on playing in Regional Championship Qualifiers coming up. We will have a whole set come out before it really becomes ramped up uh, into the season. But unless I have a bunch of Vampires, I think that this deck is going to be great as is. Uh, I will be moving on to a different archetype after this for a little while, but I, I really think that we have hit basically the pinnacle of this archetype. I have gone 4-1 or 5-0 in my last six leagues. Um, I had one experimental build where I lost one match and changed back, and... I did concede off camera, so I think I'm like, I'm something like 24 and 7. 24 and 7 with the deck, maybe 24 and 8. It's pretty good, man. I don't know what to tell you. This deck's awesome. They really did it. That's going to do it for me today. Make sure to check out our sponsors. Uh, Apex Gaming out of Caldwell, Ohio. Game store with a great tournament series all through 2024. Check out apexgaming.com or sorry, apexgaming.gg for more info about season four. Their first event of the season is a team open on April 13th. I'll be there doing commentary with my buddy Ross Marion. Make sure to check them out at uh, twitch.tv slash apexgaming. Uh, Moxfield.com is a great deck builder we use for all of our uh, decks. For Magic Online and Arena, it's easy to build and share. they got a good import and export system that works with any of the programs you use. Uh, exclamation point, Decker Decklist in the chat will take you to my page specifically, and you can check out all the lists I post, including updates on Rakdos Vampires. Uh, Games of Comics Paradise, 
It's a game store out of Fairfax, Fairfax, Virginia. Uh, they've been sponsoring us for a while now. They're great folks. Uh, I really like working with them, and uh, I look forward to attending some of their tournaments soon. You can check out their website, gcparodice.com, for singles, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Lokana, and Magic the Gathering all available, and probably Star Wars at some point, too. I know a lot of people have been talking about the new Star Wars game. It's supposed to be pretty good. I'm excited to try it, too. Too many games right now. Uh, lastly, I write strategy articles on my Patreon. You can find me at patreon.com slash Tandy. I have a full cyborg guide on Rakdos Vampires. It's up now. Make sure you go check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.